Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to move your apps to your uh, memory card on the Moto E4, okay? Uh, before I uh, jump into the on-screen stuff, I want to show you um, how to put the memory card in. So this one's a little tricky. Um, find your charging port and go to the right and there's a little slatch where you can kind of fit your fingernail in. This is how you get the, uh, the back of the phone off. Okay, so just want to show you where it goes. A lot of the newer phones have a slot on the side where you just pop it in. You don't really have to pull the back off, but this one you do. And uh, it just fits right underneath the battery. Um, so you will have to pull the battery off first and just slide your memory card right in there. And then we're gonna pop it back on and hold that power button and we'll, let's get it on. So, um, the steps for this one, um, the steps in this video are a little bit different than normally how you move apps to memory card. We're gonna have to do a couple of things to the memory card first to format it, and then we'll be able to move certain apps over to the memory card. So we're gonna give this a second, just let it load up. All right, we're all loaded up here. So first thing we're gonna do is go to our settings. And we want to go down to storage. And right here, you'll see the memory card you have plugged in. Go ahead and tap on that. Upper right corner, hit the three dots. We're going to go to um, storage settings. And we're going to hit format as internal. Okay, now disclaimer before you do this, it is going to erase everything off of your memory card and then you will only be able to use it for this phone. So if you have other important things on it, pictures, music, or other files, transfer those to your computer first because once we hit format as internal, it will erase the memory card. Okay. All right, so we're going to hit format as internal. And just to read this for you, this requires the Samsung SD card to be formatted to make it secure. After formatting, this SD card will only work in this device, okay? And then we're gonna hit format and erase. This part does take a few seconds. But once this is finished, it's now gonna recognize the memory card as internal storage, which is the really cool part. So you'll be able to store a lot more of all your files onto the memory card as well as the internal storage and then we'll be able to go and, and choose specific apps to move over to the memory card. So a disclaimer while this is loading, hit move now. Uh, you can actually have it move a couple of your files to the memory card. So any like pictures or different things you've already had on the phone, it'll automatically just move it right to the SD card. So um, in terms of moving apps, you cannot move all apps the memory card. There's only certain apps that are formatted to do so. Um, the, the formatting is something that has to happen on the developer side, not something you have control over. So uh, I'm going to show you an app that you can move, what it looks like in the settings, and then I'm going to show you an app that you can't move so you'll know what it looks like and then you can check your favorite apps to see which one will be able to move and which ones you won't be able to. So uh, this is a disclaimer before we start. Um, so we're gonna do Netflix and Hulu. One of these is able to be moved and one isn't. Um, and also another disclaimer, this is, I always do my videos for uh, how to do it without rooting your device. So you don't put your phone in any type of um, situation where you may not be able to fix it later in case there's a future problem. So this is without rooting. If you root the phone, you may be able to move more apps, but I like to play it safe. And so that's what I'm gonna show you today. All right, settings. Now we're gonna go to apps. Scroll down to Netflix. And then we're gonna tap on storage. And now, you see under storage, we can tap change and I can tap Samsung SD card. And once I do this, it's gonna move that app right to the memory card. So now it's not taking up space on your regular internal storage. Now, if we go up to Hulu, this is an app that is not coded to be transferred. So if I tap storage, we don't have the option to move it to the memory card. So 
So those are the two examples of what you're gonna see in the settings. Either you have that change button, or it'll be like this where you won't see a change button. If you don't see change, it means you can't move it to the internal storage, okay? Another one, Facebook, another popular app. Again, storage, change, and I can just hit Samsung SD card and then it'll move it right to the um, SD card. So this is how you move it. That's essentially the process. You format the memory card, you go to the settings, go to apps, and then you select the app, and then you see if you have the option. If you have the option, it means you can move it. Um, once I finish the video, at the end, I'm gonna have a list of like, 10 really popular apps that you can move and 10 popular apps that you cannot move, just so you have an idea of some of the super popular ones like Snapchat and WhatsApp and, and uh, Viber, apps like that. And then any other app, just follow the, the steps I showed you and you'll be able to check for yourself to see is the app um, compatible to be moved to internal storage or not. I hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. And make sure you also subscribe to HG Tech videos and have a good one.